from the Sony Pictures Studios, this is Jeopardy! Here he is, the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thanks, Johnny. Welcome to another game of Jeopardy, everybody. Thank you, Alex, and hello, folks. This is game 56 of my run of Jeopardy 2003 for the PC. My current total is 2,722,000. Authors and their works. The ballroom. Getting scientific. And completing the board, our category is... Department of the Interior. Hmm. Player one, you start us off. The ballroom for 200. On September 27th, 1998, Philip Ozersky caught a ball hit by this man and later sold it for $2.7 million. Player one. Who is Tiger Woods? No, that's not no. right. Sorry. Player three. Who is Mark McGuire? Oh. Exactly. The ballroom for 400? To play carom billiards, you have to buy this many balls. Player one. What is three? Definitely. Ballroom 600. Alex's elite three-star balls for this sport are made of the highest quality celluloid. Player one. What is ping pong? Precisely. Uh-huh. Pick again. Ballroom 800. A few of these balls smuggled aboard Apollo 14 were left on the moon, far away from the landing site. Player one. What are golf balls? Yes. Ballroom 1,000. The man on the trophy first given by the Downtown Athletic Club in 1936 is holding one of these balls. Player two, uh, what is a football? Yep, Exactly. You took my answer. I'll take authors and their works for 200. Two Huzzars is a short story by this author of the very long novel, War and Peace. Player one. Who is Tolstoy? Yes. Authors and their works four. He wrote The Pathfinder and The Last of the Mohicans. Player one. Who was James Fenimore Cooper? Precisely. Pick again. Authors and their works six hundred. Much of this Vanity Fair author's novel, Henry Esmond, takes place during the reign of Queen Anne. Is that it? Anyone? What we were looking William for. William Makepeace was this. Thackeray. Uh, authors in the works 800. This female Pulitzer Prize winner wrote The Bell Jar. Player two? Who is Sylvia Plath? Oh. Precisely. Pick again. Let's do Getting Scientific for 200. The pine and fir are among trees bearing pointed leaves called these. Anyone? No. Take a look. Needles. The right oh. Points. How about Department of the Interior for 200? Liquid substance that's the Bureau of Reclamation's main concern. Player one. What is water? Precisely. All right. Pick again. Authors in the works a thousand. This Florentine author of The Prince also wrote a history of Florence. Player one. Who is Machiavelli? Yes. Department of the Interior 400. Clinton thought this former Arizona governor superior. He made him Secretary of the Interior. Player three. Who is Bruce Babbitt? Precisely. Hmm. Pick again. I'll take word origins for 200. An old French word for thicket gave us this word for something tossed by a bride. Player one. 
What is a bouquet? Definitely. Word origins four. From a Provençal word for which, it's a sports team's good luck symbol. Player two, what is a talisman? No, that's no, not, not a, a talisman. Story. Anyone? Take a look. Here's the word. a mascot. Oh, word origin six hundred. This word for a swinging cot is derived from Spanish and from the Taino language of the West Indies. Player three. What is a hammock? Oh. Yes. How about movie monsters for 200? Footage of Raymond Burr was added to this 1954 Japanese classic about a big lizard. Player one. What is Godzilla? Precisely. Pick again. Movie Monsters 4. A documentary film crew in the Amazon encounters a giant snake in this 1997 film. Player one. What is uh, E.T.? That no. is incorrect. Is that it? Anyone? Player three. What is constrictor? No, that's not, not right. Not constrictor. Sorry. Anyone at all? What we were looking for Anaconda. Is Movie Monster 600. In 1958, Steve McQueen played a teenager being chased by this giant amoeba-like mass. Player two? What is the blob? Huh. Exactly. How about getting scientific for 400? Of up to 8,000... 80,000 or 8 million, the number of eggs one cod may spawn at one time. Player one. What is 80,000? That no. is incorrect. Maybe it's 8. Anybody. Thousand. What we were looking for. 8 million. Was, oh, wow. I'll try movie monsters for 800. In 1935, Elsa Lanchester played this doctor's hair-raising second creation and was meant to wed the first. Player two? Who was Henry Frankenstein? Precisely. Huh. Pick again. Movie monsters for 1,000. George Clooney and Quentin Tarantino wound up in a bar full of these creatures in 1996's From Dusk Till Dawn. Anyone? Got nothing. Player three. What are werewolves? No. No, not werewolves. Anyone? Player two. What are vampires? Oh. Definitely. Oh, that makes sense. Vampires. Dust till dawn. I'll take getting scientific for 600. Nobel chemist Wilhelm Oswald didn't believe in these, let alone their protons and electrons. Oh. Player three. What are atoms? Oh. Exactly. Let's do Department of the Interior for 600. In 1946, the grazing service was combined with another office to form the BLM. This. Player two. What is the Bureau of Land Management? Oh. Definitely. Department of the Interior for 800. This service runs Yellowstone and Yosemite. Player one. What is the National Park Service? Precisely. Yep. Pick again. Word origins 800. From Middle English and Latin for toward and to climb, one does it to a staircase or the throne. Player one. What is ascend? Hey, you're correct. Word origins thousand. From old English for a male servant or a boy, knave is a synonym for this playing card. Player one. What is a jack? Exactly. Department of the Interior thousand. Originally part of the Department of War, this bureau is concerned with the how and where of Native Americans. 
Player two? What is the Bureau of Indian Affairs? Yes. Hmm. How about getting scientific for 800? It's the smallest number of cells a living organism can have. Player two? What is one? Huh. Precisely. And that puts him in the lead, and the last one is his, and it's the daily the double, double in the round. Did you make your way to the 3,000. From the surface of this innermost planet, the sun appears 2.5 times oh, I know this one. it does from Earth. Player two? What is Mercury? Yep. Exactly. So I've got some work to do. Okay, that's it for the Jeopardy round. Now we're going to take a quick look at the scores. Player two, very well 9,200 for player two. 5,600 for me. Player three, player three, 400. To start things off in double Jeopardy. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for double Jeopardy. Here are the categories for the double Jeopardy round. Colorful words and phrases. Asian capitals. It's all relative. Historic happenings. Rubbish. And here's the last category. On the cover of Rolling Stone. Rubbish for 400. Kick. This kitchen device compresses garbage into easily disposed of units. Oh. Player three. What is a trash compactor? Yep. Hey, you're correct. Rubbish for 800. This rubbish synonym can also mean a group of puppies or a stretcher to transport the wounded. Player one. What is a litter? Precisely. Pick again. Rubbish 1200. It's the trademark name for a brand of large metal trash bins. Diving into one can be dangerous. Player one. What is a dumpster? Hey, you're correct. Rubbish 1600. This Australian slang term for a trash man is also the last name of Swedish actress Greta. Player one. What is Garbo? Precisely. Pick again. Rubbish 2000. A Dutch word for boat pole gave us this word for a large flat barge for hauling garbage. Player three. What is a scow? Huh. Yes. I'd like on the cover of Rolling Stone for 400. He appeared alone on Rolling Stone's first cover, November 9, 1967, and nude with Yoko a year later. Player one. Who is John Lennon? Exactly. Agent Capitals, 400. Beijing. Player one. What is China? You got it. That's the country we were after. Agent Capitals, 8. New Delhi. Player one. What is India? Exactly. Asian Capitals 1200. Seoul. Player one. What is South Korea? Yes. Asian Capitals 1600. Kuala Lumpur. Player one. What is Malaysia? Precisely. Pick again. Capitals 2000. Answer. Ooh. The Daily Double. So I want I want to create some distance and I so far I have I'm gonna try it Hanoi player one I'm glad I did what is Vietnam you got it that's the country yes! we were after I've extended my lead big time it's all relative 400 the man seen here oh. is this relation to Francis Ford Coppola this relation is this relation to preacher Jimmy Swagger? Player two. What is his cousin? Good guess. No. But it's not what we're looking for. Nobody. Player one. 
What is brother? Good answer, no. but sorry. That's wrong. Anyone at all? Player three. What is his nephew? Ah! Precisely. Pick again. It's all relative for 800. William Henry Harrison was this to Benjamin Harrison. Anybody? No. Player three. What was his uncle? No. No. I'm sorry. Anyone? Take a look. Grandfather. Response? Let's do colorful words and phrases for 400. Traditionally, it's the section of telephone directories that lists businesses alphabetically by type. Player one. What are the yellow pages? Precisely. Pick again. Call for words and phrases eight. This area of closely cropped grass surrounds each hole in golf. Player one. What is the green? Definitely. Call for words and phrases 1200. These movie and TV awards are presented annually by the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. Player three. Oh. What are the Golden Globe Awards? Yep. I didn't Precisely. think of it until now. Pick again. Let's go for historic happenings. For 400? In 1949, this aviator seen here received the Wright Brothers Trophy. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player three. Who was Charles Lindbergh? Oh yeah, Charles Lindbergh. Yes. Historic happenings for 800. As a result of the Six Day War of 1967, this Middle East Canal remained closed until 1975. Player one. What is the Suez Canal? Exactly. Yep. Good thing I. Good thing because I was thinking the Panama Canal at first. Call for words and phrases 1600. Answer. Oh. Daily double. I'm not going to do it this time. Could you make your wager, please? Guess what? I'm not going to do it this time. Uh, 3,200. 32, Term for the illegal buying or selling of goods in violation of rationing or price controls. Player one. I'm going to say, what is black market? Yes. Oh, nice. Call for words and phrases 2000. It's the alternate title of Hans Brinker, the merry mapes dodge tale of an impoverished Dutch boy. Player three. What is the silver skates? Oh, of course. Exactly. Let's try It's All Relative for 1200. Gary Marshall is this to Penny Marshall. Player oh. three. What is her older brother? Hey, you're correct. Oh. It's all relative for 1,600. Caroline Schlossberg is this to Senator Ted Kennedy. Oh. Player three. What is his niece? I was just going to say exactly. niece. It's all relative for 2,000. The Duke of Windsor was this to Queen Elizabeth II. Player three. What was her uncle? Yes. Hmm. How about <clears throat> historic happenings for 1200? England's first encounter with this Spanish fleet occurred off Plymouth, July 31st, 1588. Player one. What is the Spanish Armada? Precisely. Pick again. Historic happenings, 1600. It was the last Indian Empire in Mexico and Central America. Player two, what is the Aztec? Ah, that's right. Hey, you're correct. Let's go with on the cover of Rolling Stone for 800. 
The stars of this sitcom, including Jason Alexander, hit the yellow brick road for the 1998 30th anniversary cover. Player one. What is Seinfeld? Exactly. Historic happenings, 2000. Of 1962, 1972, or 1982, the year the man seen here went to both Moscow and Peking. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player one. What is 1982? Good guess. No. But it's not what we're looking for. Anyone? No. What we were looking 1972. for... Uh, Rolling Stone 1200. He should get some satisfaction knowing he's been on the cover more times than anyone else. Player one. Who is Mick Jagger? Exactly. 1600. Anthony Kiedis went solo for a 1994 cover and appeared with this group on a 95 cover. Player one. Who are the Red Hot Chili Peppers? Definitely. And the last one? Here's the final answer on this board. Nothing compares to this singer seen on covers in 1990 and 1991 and with even less hair in 1992. Player one. Who is Sinead O'Connor? Yes. And like I said, I'm trying to be less dependent on the Clue History site, but that doesn't mean I'm going to chuck it entirely. That's the end of the double. But I felt good about that daily double when I bet it all. Player one, you've got the lead. Thirty-six thousand eight hundred for me. Ten thousand eight hundred for player three. Ten thousand four hundred for player two. It's that time, folks. Final Jeopardy. We'll take a look at the category, then give you a few seconds to think about your wager. Biblical times. Hmm. Go ahead. Make your wager. Player two, your wager, please. Player three, could we have your wager, please? Player one, please make your wager. Okay, now if you were to double, he would have 10... 21,600. Ten thousand two hundred. Here's the final Jeopardy answer. Good luck. Thank you. In Solomon's reign, she filled the new post of Queen Mother. Who is Bathsheba? I think I remember having this before when I played the second edition. And I lucked out on a win. Let's see how everyone did. Your question, Ruth. player two. Sorry. Nope. That's incorrect. How much did it cost you? 10400 Your question, Ruth. Ruth also. Three. Sorry. Nope. That's incorrect. How much did it cost you? Everything. Your question. Bathsheba. Right you are. Yes. What was your wager? 10200 for $47,000. Congratulations to the big winner here today on Jeopardy. Player one. Thanks for playing Jeopardy. Come back and see us again real soon, won't you? Bye, Alex. So that's two million seven hundred sixty-nine thousand dollars, which was completely unintentional, by the way. Hi, folks, I'm Johnny Gilbert. Let's just get a few details out of the way before we start our game. We got all kinds of See? fun stats for you. Completely unintended, okay? Just so everyone knows. I just put a wager just because I didn't want to do something really, really dumb. 
So, that's going to do it for me. 47,000 today, and that's a pretty good uh, total. In fact, I did much better than last time when I won only 22,000. So, you guys, want to thank you all for watching. And, of course, Hangtown Motocross is today. You'll, have, you'll see a recap of both classes a little later, little later this week. So, hopefully, you all enjoy this one for now. I'll be home for sure, so... I'm going to try and upload every basketball shot that I got this past season with the basketball season over and all Hawaii athletics on summer break. I'm going to think of what I can to post and think of what I want to post and uh, hopefully, you guys will, hopefully you guys will tune in for that. And that includes games like this. So thanks for watching and remember subscribe and I'll see you all for that next game number 57 with 2,769,000 as my total.